hi children and hi everyone in previous video we discussed about the whether the focal length of the medium whether the focal length of the lens depends on medium or not that's the topic very very important topic children that is so you didn't saw that video then go and watch it very important because that is the very very one of the important topic of ssc examinations so children so they you must watch it so in this video i am going to explain about the how we can find out the focal length of a convex lens by using one activity lab activity how we can find out the focal length of a convex lens so children i am going to topic now here today topic is what finding focal length of a convex lens today topic is that only that only convex lens children finding the focal length of a convex lens so in general how we can find out the focal length of a convex lens simply we have one rule it is there what is that when the light is at infinity when the light is at infinity the object will form image at focus clear from the rule when the light is i mean when the object is at infinity and the light is coming from the object and that should be incident on the lens after that the lens can form the image at a focus then the optic center to the focus what we take focal length of the lens that is the distance method general method we can easily find out the focal length of a lens for example here i am showing simply this is the v stand what is that v stand we are taken in that v stand what have to give one convex lens by convex lens we have to give so generally here i am taking that this tree is the object at infinity distance clear from that the light rays are coming i already told you in previous videos when the light is coming from the long distances that should be treated as the parallel beam of light so here after refraction there should be forms image at one point if you can imagine that now here simply this is the focus point clear just for example i am drawing like that is here so this is the here we have to say lens to the the point is simply what to take focal lens clear so if you want to show the diagram very clearly here now i am showing that the light is coming like this and that should be incident at a point on the principal axis so this is the principal axis clear now these are the light rays coming from long distances so now this is what focal point and this is what here optic center to the image what we get at point what it is focus optic center to the focus what we call generally here focal length of the lens this is the general method when the light is coming from long distance that should be incident on the lens after that image will be formed the focus then optic center distance between the optic center to the focus what we call image sorry focal length clear optic center to the focus what we call focal length of a lens this is the general method we can easily find out the focal length of a lens this is also called as the distance method now we want to find out the focal length of the lens in our laboratory with one activity so let us see how we can find out that is so children i am going to topic now here finding the focal length of a convex lens here you must know about one thing here already previously we discussed what's that 1 by f is equals to 1 by v plus 1 by u 1 by f is equals to 1 by v plus 1 by u 
here this is what we call what we call i already explained one activity regarding the finding the focal length of a concave mirror concave mirror in that lab activity we used one formula 1 by f is equals to 1 by v plus 1 by u there f is the focal length of the mirror and v is the emissions and u is the object distance it is known as the what is a general this is mirror equation this is what mirror equation 1 by f is equals to 1 by v plus 1 by u by using this formula we can find out the focal length of a concave mirror clear children so in this case we have one formula is there 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u here this is known as the lens formula what's that that is the mirror equation and this is now here a lens formula this formula can be used to find out the focal length of a convex lens that means here 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u so that means if you know about the u and v values we can substitute the u and v values in this formula then obviously we will get the focal length that's the phenomena involved in this case 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u here u is the object distance and v is the image distance if you know about the u and v values if you can substitute those values in this equation obviously we can find out the focal length of the lens so in this experiment we are going to use this formula 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u here in this one we have to do some activity for that the apparatus required re apparatus required apparatus required is here candle we will take candle as the object here flame of the candle is the object and v stand v stand can be used to hold the are kept the convex lens and now one screen it may be white paper or cardboard anything and next one is meter scale meter scale so obviously matchbox matchbox here these are required candle v shape stand screen meter scale match box so these operators are required so we can imagine now already we have those objects so here now first we are taken watch carefully children very important topic the same topic will be in inter secondary also there that's why you have to focus on this topic very clear and very important topic here now this is the v stand in that v stand we kept some convex lens so here like this very simple watch carefully this is what convex lens so we want to measure the focal length of this convex lens that should be kept where this is what v stand what's that v stand clear after that by taking some measures meter scale we have to measure some distance i am saying now nearly i was taking 30 centimeters 30 centimeters here we have to take the candle for the distance of 30 centimeters we have to light in the candle So clear this is now what candle and this is the flame of the candle this flame can be used as in this case object clear first step what it is first step we have to take the one v stand in that water to keep one convex lens 
should be kept in a V stand. After that, by taking some meter scale, we have to select particular distance. Particular distance. Here, I was selected 30 centimeters. At the 30 centimeters, you have to keep one candle and there should be lightning. Clear. Lightning candle should be kept at the distance of 30 centimeters. So once you can select the distance, the position and lens both should be kept constant. Clear. We are taking some V stand. In that we kept some lens. After that, from that V stand, we have to select the one known value. One known value. That means what we are measuring that is a known value here. So we have taken 30 centimeters in this case. At that 30 centimeters, we have to fix the or uh, we have to place the lightning candle. Lightning candle. So after that, here once you can keep the candle very constant here, there is no change. Don't change the position of the lens and position of the object. Clear. So here after that, just imagine now this is a one principal axis. Just imagine we are taking this is the one straight line. Clear. So all should be must be in a straight line. And now here you have to keep one screen. Clear. So this is what screen. Screen should be anything. That is a screen. Clear. Now we have to move the screen from long distance to the towards to the lens. Clear. We are keeping the screen like this. For example, now situation is what? The candle is lightning and the light rays are coming from the candle. They should be entered into the lens. After the enter into the lens, they should be refracted. After refraction, you have to observe. After refraction, the light rays should be meets. They can form the image. Clear. That's why we want to capture the image now here. Further, for example, now this is the screen. And already candle is there. Now I am moving screen from long distance towards the candle. From long distance to the towards the candle. Clear. Up to now, where we will get the image? Where, for example, at this location, we are getting the image. Clear. The image should be here like this. That should be here. Object should be seems like this, and we are getting the image in downward. Clear. So we are getting image should be like that. So this is the object here. Over here, this is the object. For example, I am showing like this simply. How we are like this? This is the object that should be inverted in this case. That should be inverted. So. So here at this location, we are getting the image. That is what this is the object. And now it should be inverted. It should be here inverted. So here top is very less and here it is big one. Here bottom is big and this one is thin. Size will be small. That means we are getting inverted image. Inverted image. So here you have to observe, you have to observe, clear children, don't confuse, after selecting the positions of the candle and lens, we have to move the screen from long distance towards the lens. At particular one position, we will get the flame of image of flame of the candle should be on screen. Clear. That means in this case, what you have to observe, that should be inverted. For example, now the green is top and chalk is down. This is the object. This is the object. On screen, how we can find this one? Like this, inverted. White should be top, green should be down. Object is what? Object is green top, white is down. Image should be what? White is top, green is down. That means what we get? Inverted image. And that image is called here real image. Real image. 
I already told you what is mean by real image. The images which are can be which can be captured on a screen, those should be called as the real images. So just you have to check that. So for example, here we are getting here one image we are getting. So on the screen we are getting the we are able to see. We are able to see the image on the screen. So if you can remove that one, if you can simply remove this screen, then you have to observe whether we are finding the image or not there. No, not at all. Why? Because we are unable to see the real image directly. Clear? While the screen is at this location, we are able to see the image. After that, what I am telling you, if you can remove the screen, we are unable to see the same image. Even though candle is there, lens is there, but we are not able to see the image. Because real images are not possible to see directly. Clear children? So, after capture again, we are placing the screen, we are getting the image. Clear? After that, now here you have to observe, now you have to take the distance from lens to the candle, we are taking that is the U. The distance from optic center to the object what we call U. And distance from lens to the image, that should be what we call V. Clear? That means this is U and this is V. According to sign convention, all the distances are must be measured from pole or optic center of a lens. That's why here what I am saying, the distance from optic center to the candle is taken as the object distance U and the distance from optic center to the screen, optic center to the screen that should be taken as the image distance. Clear? Distance from optic center of lens to the candle is called as the object distance and the distance from optic center to the screen should be taken as now image distance v object distance is shown by the symbol u and image distance should be shown by the symbol v clear children now in this case already you have to maintain one tabular form here that is serial number and u and v and 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u. So we have to take one tabular form. You have to maintain some columns. So for the first observation, what I am telling serial number 1, how much we are taking object distance? 30. Just simply what it is? 30. Then you can take some v values here, what are maybe some 25 centimeters like that. That means after finding the u value, v value, you have to mention in them in a tabular form. Clear children. See once again clearly, I will tell, explain very clearly. Now, first, what, first step is what? We have to take the lens that should be kept a V-shaped stand. Clear. That is the first step. And second step is what? We have to take one meter scale. We have to take one meter scale. Clear children. We have to take one meter square. Now lens to particular distance I am measuring here that is 30 centimeters. By taking the meter scale, we have to select one known value. We have to select one known value of distance. At that distance, you have to fix the or you have to place the lightning candle. Lightning candle. So now the lens to the candle is what object distance. Once we are taken U value is 30 centimeters, then don't disturb the lens and candle. Don't disturb the lens and candle. Clear. After that, from other side of the lens, from other side of the lens, we have to keep the one screen. The screen should be moved towards the lens. The screen should be moved towards the lens up to where we will get the clear image of the flame of the candle on the screen clear 
on one side we have candle is there candle is nothing but here object its position is constant after that we are taking one screen then we have to move the screen towards the lens up to where we will get the image of the flame on screen then after that we have to stop it then again we have to take the meter scale by taking the meter scale again you have to find out the lens from distance from lens to the candle that should be taken as u that should be noted in a table form after that here now the distance from optic center to the screen that should be what it is we have to find the meter scale that how much 25 centimeters so now by substitution of these two values in that equation we will get one focal length value so to get the more focal to get the accurate value for focal length we have to do the same experimental procedure for different values of u and different values of v actually we measured first time u is 30 and v is 25 by substitution of these two we will get some f value but to get the more accurate value we have to take the number of u values corresponding to that we have to find out the v values then obviously every, every for every time we will get the one f value after getting the some six or seven values by taking the average them uh, average of them we can easily conclude that the focal length of the convex lens so first time we are taking 30 for that we are getting 25 centimeters now we have to repeat the same procedure for different values same procedure for different values that means here initially what we fixed we fixed for 30 centimeters we fixed for 30 centimeters now the candle is removed from that and now it is fixed from 40 centimeters now it is fixed from 40 centimeters so again with the help of the scale only now initially what we take in distance is 30 now we are taking 40 clear now the second value here that is you have to substitute it click please there place there that is what 40 centimeters now again we have to repeat the same thing what is that the screen should be moving from other side of the lens towards the lens again at a particular one position what do you get one clear image at that point you have to take the distance from lens to the screen that should be taken as image distance so that should be noted in this case table draw again next time 30 they taken now 40 taken now i am going to 50 or 45 50 i am taking for 50 same process for 50 centimeters we have to keep the candle and after that we are moving the screen from other other side towards the lens at particular distance what we distance at particular distance we will get the image on the screen so again we have to take the u value and v value in this way by changing the u values and v values we have to find out the every time focal length by using the lens formula 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u so already in this 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by v minus 1 by u in that already sign convention is applied that's why i'm not talking about the sign convention in this case so 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u for every time you have to change the u value corresponding that you have to write the value of we have to find the value of v u value changed corresponding to that v value find so at every time we are substituting that value in lens formula we will get one focal length value so after that again by taking the all averages we will get the focal length of the convex lens so children this is about the finding the focal length of a convex lens very interesting topic children i hope you understand so i will upload as early as possible this activity by performing in my lab so i will upload the video by doing the activity within very soon so i hope you understand if you can understand this video like share and comment the video subscribe my channel for latest notifications bye children take care we will meet in the next video with another topic